Scott, that was a, a really battling performance. Obviously, Ten Hag had a game plan and it really worked today. Yeah, it, we, the, we knew that we had to come here every single time and you have to fight and you have to fight like men and, and show yourself on, on the pitch. And the, we had some really difficult moments. Let's not get it. Let's not get it twisted, but whenever we were in their final third in the second half, I thought we were dangerous. You know, I thought whenever we got into the pockets and we had Ganacho running behind, and Anthony was really good down that right hand side in, in spells of the game was was important for us. And on another day, we could have had one or two goals, and it could have been a more high scoring game for sure. I think it's important to point out because Anana has had some criticism this season. Today he was absolutely immense, pulled off some fantastic saves some, from a free scoring Liverpool who are getting goals, so many goals here at Anfield. He was brilliant. We just said to him there, he was he was world class and. He's someone who holds really high standards for himself and we can see that in his training sessions. Everyone makes mistakes. A goalkeeper is, is going to go through many, many moments in his career where he, where he makes mistakes. But for us, it's, it's all important how he bounces back to them. It's all about his character, how he shows himself after that. And this is a prime example today of the character that you're dealing with in, in someone as, as talented as him. You're having quite a year yourself for both club and country. How difficult is it when you're, you, you, sort of, you have an intent to attack but you know you have to be patient for a game like this? Yeah, we had to be to be extremely patient. We know that whenever me and Rasmus were were up there, we had to try and hold the ball as best we could and, and bring other players into play and try and get in between the lines. I thought that was that was a big one. There was space between the centre backs and the midfield players, so for us it was exploiting that and um, getting Anthony and Ganacho in behind and getting them one v one. And we had some chances. You know, on a different day we could have scored with Rasmus in the in the final third there. And obviously, their big chances and big moments in the game. It's all decided in in one or two moments in key games like this. And I felt like we were just short, but. As you say, we, we did concede a lot of chances as well. How much can you take from a game like this? It was almost kind of like back to basics when you're sort of building from a really solid back line, and particularly with experienced players like Johnny Evans back there. Yeah, the two boys at the back and obviously Luke Shaw and Diogo were, were unbelievable. I thought the red card was, was ridiculous, to be honest with you. It's the last moments of the game. We said that to the referee. It's, 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 players are emotional. They're not just always going to react if it's in a certain way in the 90th minute whenever you're fighting for your life and everything's on, on the line at Anfield away. It's... It's probably not right in my opinion, but as you say, there's not really much can do about that. But the whole spoken line, to him since. No, nah, it's just one of them things which you, you can't control. That's the, the nature of the game now, and maybe we shouldn't be so naive to that in future. But the whole bat line was brilliant, and the goalkeeper amazing.